Hello and welcome back. What we're going to do this time is we're going to set up an activation key. Uh, what this activation key do can be used for is if you already have an existing client um, that has the channels and everything that you need, you can actually uh, do a registration of that system to the uh, spacewalk. Or when you're actually doing a bare metal install, you can actually have it use that specific uh, key and then that way you can automatically have your system get the channels and configurations that you want for that specific system. Um, so let's first log in, and I'll show you where it's located. Um, if you log in plain, it's right there in front of you. It's uh, manage, manage activation keys. Um, if you're not on that thing, another way to go is to go to systems, then activation keys. And as you can see, there's no keys yet, so we're going to create a new key. And this is just a pretty easy description of what it is. Uh, it's going to be a CentOS uh, 6.5 activation key. And then here, this is where you want your uh, normal, easy to understand key that you need to register with. Um, you can have it, leave it blank, and it'll automatically generate one, but it'll be some long, crazy number. Um, so we're just going to put CentOS uh, server. Six five. Uh, usage will leave blank, but you can change that. Like if you want ten or twenty uh, users, we're just going to keep it there for unlimited. And then here's what's kind of interesting: is you actually get to select your uh, base base channel. So we're going to select the CentOS uh, 6.5 as its base channel, and then add entitlements. Um, we do want provisioning, so we'll set provisioning. If you want monitoring, you can set monitoring, virtualization, all those, which makes it kind of interesting. Um, we're also going to make it the universal default on this one. But you don't have to. Usually there's always one that's the universal default. Um, but we'll make this a universal default since it's the only one that we have. And then I create activation key. And there you have it. Quite easy. Already set to go and stuff like that. Um, now what we're going to want to do also is, along with this activation key, we have some child channels. And uh, these are the ones that we have. We got the updates for 6.5, Apple, and then the Spacewalk uh, client. Now we're going to update that key. And then what that does is, is it actually makes all those channels available once you register that system or once you boot off from a bare metal install. Um, so as you can see, if you go over you know, to the uh, child channels, those are all be selected. And then if you have specific packages, you can actually set up specific patches, packages. So if you want to do you know, maybe like a GUI or you want to do one with uh, certain tools of that, you can actually enter the uh, package names. Um, if you have configuration channels, you can do that as, as well. You can automatically have it subscribed to the configuration channel. Um, set it up to an automatic group to uh, automatically join a group if you're into groups and stuff like that. And then, you know, which systems have actually been activated, uh, which would be zero since we have not done any yet. Um, so that's pretty much it for the key. Um, keep this one real nice and simple. Uh, there we go, activation keys. There it is, there's the key, unlimited, all the information, uh, and that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, thanks, come back, I'll have some other uh, steps that we'll start doing. Um, we've already created the channels, now we've done the activation key. Uh, next steps, we'll be actually setting up the, uh, I guess, uh, what Spacewalk has incorporated into it is Cobbler, uh, which will, will help us with the, uh, the bare bone install. Um, and then from there, we'll have multiple ways of installing a, you know, generic 6.5 from a TFTP server, from an actual disk one uh, ISO of 6.5, and then also from a uh, CD that's burned from the Spacewalk server, uh, you know, through Cobbler that will automatically uh, boot the system up. Um, if you don't have a TFTP and, and don't have um, all those things in, in place uh, in your environment. But uh, that, that's it for now, and uh, we'll go to the next step. Thanks.